All right, so take go over this. So uh, I went I went over this yesterday. Uh, we sent an email out to all you guys um, about uh, the trades yesterday. Um, so we have a 120 in the room. You can set this up on your own charts if you lease the software. Also, uh, we have a 120 20 in the room that's set up. That's our larger Renko size, and then we have beside it. Um, you can set up a 110 10. That's half the Renko size that um, we have set up for you on the software. Uh, I want to show you how you can use larger Renko sizes with smaller Renko sizes. Um, you can use both of them together to find additional setups during the day. The larger Renko size, as we know, can find some big trends. Um, we saw it yesterday. We had a lot of big directional moves. Um, and then what you can do is you can check down to the smaller Renko size for additional moves if you don't get a retracement on the larger Renko size. So we have a 120.20 that I show in the room on the S&P, and then I put the 110.10 uh, right next to that. And what that does, it allows you to get additional setups on moves. So we had non-farm payrolls that got released this morning. And so what we'll do is, is when this is trending today, when we're trending, let's say, on the larger Renko size, and we are above this 100 mark and we have a breakout like we have now, then we'll look for additional setups on the smaller Renko size. So as long as we're trending hard on the smaller Renko, we can look for smaller Renko size. Now when I talk about hard trend, we haven't developed one yet today, but yesterday we had several hard trends. So I'm talking about this. I'm talking about when we break down, we'll have a lot of these today happen uh, with non-farm payrolls, but we broke down on the 12020 yesterday. And what happens with the 12020, you get into a real weak market like this, and we'll have trades like this today, which I'll put back on in a second, um, where you get these big directional moves down. Well, the smaller Renko size will allow us to fire in trades in this um, section of the trend because it's a smaller Renko. So 120, instead of letting it run all the way down by itself, you're going to have smaller Renko entries on the way down. So that's what we'll look for today. We'll look for when we get into trends um, like this, when we start getting into trends uh, where it starts getting stronger and it just keeps pushing, 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 and this oscillator is pegged at 100 or negative 100, starting to, uh, if we roll over, we'll start trending down if we get a zone trend change. Then we'll look for smaller Renko entries off the smaller Renko size. So that's how you can use a larger Renko with a smaller Renko entry. Um, so non-farm farm payroll is going to be some fast uh, markets today because non-farm payroll is the first news event of the month. Um, and then, uh, so we should have some nice trades today. Um, so what we'll do is, is we'll wait until we get into a hard trending market where it's pegged like this, and we'll look for additional setups on that smaller Renko size. So that's one, um, one thing we'll look for. Now, the trade we're looking for now is an outer edge setup. Uh, we'll watch for an outer edge. We had one right at the open of news, uh, right there at the open of news. So we'll look for an outer edge setup uh, coming up here now. Um, if we get it, we need to close outside of 52, 10, and 3 quarters, and then close back inside of it, and a yellow entry bar will occur coming up. So we'll see if we get that coming up right now, but that's what you can use. You can use uh, you can use your larger Renko size. We had a lot of trades yesterday that matched up with this. Um, the 12020 is a larger Renko uh, in the room. I am showing half of that size. You can set this up on your own charts um, to find additional trade setups um, that can fire for you in all these different markets. So that's using a larger Renko. And like I said, what, how we want to use that, we want to use that for hard trends like yesterday, where you're going to get in trends like this, where it's just, you get some real dynamic moves down in these markets like here. That's when you're pegged down. That's when you're going to look for trade setups off this smaller Renko size um, to fire you in those setups. And the same thing like this. I mean, you start cranking down. We had several setups off of the smaller Renko size in between here. And then the upside's the same way. Upside, when this zone bro broke out, we started really cranking hard to the upside off the 120. 
Um, if you noticed uh, yesterday morning, and I'll put this back so you understand what trades we're going to look for today, uh, you had zone breaks that were breaking. So you had a zone breakout that happened at 8.34.35 after news yesterday. Well, 8.34.35 happened right here on the longer Renko size. So this shows you the synergy between them, 8.34.35. So you see that's where this zone breakout fired off of half the Renko size for that big giant push up because the larger Renko size was already in motion. That's when you want to look for this smaller Renko to utilize small stops and utilize getting in on pushes like this. This is a big breakout yesterday morning after news, 87 a quarter, and she cranked all the way up um, to what, 05 on the first push, and it kept cranking up. It got it cranked up as high as what, 07. So we had a 20 point push on the S&P with a Renko size of 10 with a 12 tick stop. 20 point push, 80 tick push with a 12 tick potential stop there. So, you know, that's how you can use smaller Renko sizes with the larger uh, push. So that's what we'll look for today. Uh, we'll look for it again. We'll wait till we get into a nice trending uh, push up if you want to utilize a smaller Renko size. Um, and then uh, when the 120 starts trending hard, you can fire into a smaller Renko size.